What's up guys? Welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Nike Air Zoom Victory Track Spikes. So these things are supposed to be the Alpha Flies on the track. So we're going to take a look at these, review the specs to see if these live up to the hype. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. So let's get this review started. So the Nike Air Zoom Victory Track Spikes cost $180 here in the US. Um, they weigh at about 4.5 ounces for a size eight and a half, um, and about 4.6 if you put the spikes on. So they're super lightweight. Um, you can barely feel them you know, while you're running and when they're on your foot. Um, these are meant uh, for 800 meters to all the way up to 5K on Nike's website. Um, so they're for a short to mid distance racing shoe. And one thing about sizing, I had to go a full size down from a size nine, which is my normal, you know, a road shoe. Um, I wanted it to feel more snug and fit. And even a size eight and a half felt a little bit uh, too much room, especially in the toe area. You'll definitely have a lock down here in the midfoot, uh, which is good. But uh, in the toe area, I had to go a full size down just so I didn't have too much room in the toes. So, um, you know, I was trying to figure out how much room I needed. And I just went with about half a thumb room amount of space for the toe so keep that in mind while purchasing these spikes um they're not uh they do fit true to size in your feet but you know some people might want a more lockdown feel and then you'll have to go down uh, in size so this track spike is made up of a few important components you have the atom knit upper which is steamed and stretched to give you that lightweight and breathability um in the midsole you have the zoom x foam which is nike's bread and butter foam that gives you responsiveness and cushion and in the forefoot you have these zoom air units on the bottom which is pretty cool that they're transparent so you have a split unit one on the left and one on the right to give you responsiveness and more cushion and then in the middle you have the carbon fiber plate that gives you extra responsiveness while you're running and in the back there's a matumbo hole that gives you lightweight and comfort um, as well and on the top you have the serrated laces that are nice because when you tie them up they don't come loose as often so this shoe originally came out in the black and green colorway however you can get this now in the olympic colorway like this one or there's also a mango version of the spikes that are out now so for 180 dollars these are very expensive for a spike on the track however you know nike justifying this with all of the technology that they have put in the shoe like all of the upper end uh, the atom the material as well as you know this carbon fiber play and zoom x foam so you know this is supposed to be like the alpha fly on the track so while running in these track spikes, they are definitely lightweight and you can feel that immediately when you switch onto these spikes. Uh, they're very aggressive and they'll lock into the track and I almost took, you know, I took a tumble when I on my first lap running in these because they're so aggressive and I must have stepped in a hole on the track or something. So keep that in mind. Um, on the turns, when I had a size that was a little bit larger, I did feel movement in my foot. So I, that's why I recommend going to a si full size down or maybe a half size down depending on your normal, you know, uh, sneaker running shoe size because um, they will have a lot of room in the forefoot, but you will feel locked down here in the midfoot. So I prefer a um, more locked down feel even in the forefoot and in the toes for my short to mid uh, runs. So I went a full size down on these shoes and that alleviated the issue with uh, your feet moving around uh, in the shoe. And because the atom and the material is so lightweight, um, you know, that also causes your feet to be able to move around, especially on the turns. But in the straightaways, these things will grip into the ground and it'll give you that speed and responsiveness that you're looking for. These things are definitely quick and fast. And, uh, you know, after just doing like 400s and 800s around the track, my Achilles and calves started hurting. So these are definitely very aggressive and they're not meant for longer distance races. Um, I probably, you know, as I said before, I personally wouldn't use these for over a mile. But Red Nike recommends you can use this up to a 5K. But, you know, if I was going to do a 5K, I would honestly use the Nike Dragonfly, which is a little bit more comfortable. Uh, it's a little bit less aggressive and has more Zoom X. Um, on the foam to give you, you know a uh, better cushion and responsiveness um, but however that shoe doesn't have that carbon fiber plate and this shoe does so in my opinion this shoe is meant for you know quick mid to short to mid distance races 
And if you want to go fast in these, you could definitely wear these. Um, I don't know if you could use this for 100 meters or 400 and below. Um, Nike does have a sprinting uh, Superfly Elite for that category. Um, these are meant for more short to mid uh, distance races. And it's also got a high arch. So people who have high arches or flat feet, and just keep in mind that this shoe does have a high arch while running. So it might be uncomfortable for people that has flat feet. Other than that, um, this is a great spike. It's like, I feel like it's the alpha fly on the track. Um, it's, you know, capable of doing some short, uh, also some mid distance. And it's uh, super quick and aggressive and a lot of cushion in the forefoot. And then this shoe definitely keeps you on your forefoot pretty much all the time. And if you do run, you know, with your heel or in the midfoot, it does feel a little bit strange, um, even though there's foam in the back of the shoe. But, um, so this shoe is, it'll make you want to go on your forefoot the whole time. Um, because that's where all the cushion and the zoom air units is and then it's where you'll feel the carbon fiber responsiveness uh, in the shoe so overall it's a very comfortable and you know aggressive uh, shoe um, i really like it um, i'll probably use the dragonfly for longer distance races but this is probably my go-to shoe for anything up to a mile so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. Leave any comments, feedback, or questions you have down below. I hope your training is going well and you and your family are staying safe out there. Hope you guys also have a great holiday season. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.